In a little less than an hour, Jacksonville Mayor Lenny Curry is presenting his budget proposal to City Council. So it is expected to include millions of dollars more for the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. News for Jacks reporter Aaron Farage joining us now live outside City Hall. And Aaron, while JSO is expected to get a big chunk, it won't mean more officers on the streets. Interim Sheriff Pat Ivey is asking for $37 million more than what JSO got last year. A lot of that money would cover costs at the jail. The overall budget for JSO would be $540 million if approved. There is a shortage of corrections officers at the Duval County Jail, which has led to cost increases. Ivy also hopes for a $1.7 million investment in technology upgrades, which includes software that would allow investigators to unlock cell phones legally. It will help us when everybody's password protected, fingerprint protected, face recognition protected, their devices potentially. Hopefully this will help us. Police don't just take cell phones and go into them. Um, we have legal steps and processes that we must follow. This will allow us, once we've obtained the, the permission um, to enter a device, it will assist us in those investigations. Back to the overall budget proposal, Mayor Curry is also looking to make several upgrades around the city. He's asking for $100 million toward downtown revitalization projects, including at the landing site, Met Park, and baseball grounds. $108 million would go to parks around the city, including replacing equipment at 60 playgrounds. The mayor says that is necessary because he says public parks are seeing nearly 20,000 more visitors each year. Mary Curry will present his budget here at City Hall shortly. We will continue to provide coverage not only on air but online as well at news4jacks.com. Reporting live, I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, the local station.